Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today, we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, we're going to be stepping into the world of Erica. Uh, it's free to download on the PlayStation, PlayStation Store. Um, I believe it's some sort of interactive movie, uh, roughly about two hours long. Um, I've never tried this sort of thing before, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I believe we've got to solve a murder of sorts. But and I just had a bit of cello, which is good, so let's step in. So all we've got at the moment is a lighter, forever yours. I don't know, that's Jody or I don't know. The same push this. Oh, we've got to do it with our hands. How do we light it? Oh, okay. We should try and solve this together. I'm bound to balls up, but... <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I see the light at the top is telling me to move my thumb across the pad on the controller. Dynamite! Boom! Game over. <laughs> Turn on the lamp, okay. What's that? What's that? Drag to explore. Oh, just hover over it, okay. There's quite a lot of interaction so far. Erica. I see that's Erica. Shouldn't play with it. It's dangerous. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Mummy and I met many, many years ago in a place called Delphi House. She was a nurse, and I was a doctor. At night, we'd tell each other stories. She'd tell me about the future. Wonderful things. Things only she could see. Then I tell her about the past, about a great priestess marked with a butterfly who could stare into the fire and see the future. Okay, pregnant with Erica. I used to tell her she was magic, just like the priestess. I think you're magic too. But you're going to have to prove it. Pick a photograph. Pick your favourite. Oh, first choice. Pick your favourite photo. Oh. Oh, I see. It's got to be this one, hasn't it? Yeah, okay. Now, 
Close your eyes. Lovely. Focus your mind. And conjure the power of the ancient priestess. Now find your mom again. See if you can guess where your favorite is. What? How am I supposed to do this? Wow! See? Magic. I bet they're all the same. She'll always be with you. Remember that. Even though she isn't here, she's still a part of you. What's that? If you could stare into the fire and see the future, what do you think you'd see? It's a bit weird. Okay. I opened the door. I went in. Oh my god, that's what she saw. She seems older now, if that's Erica. So her father was murdered. Is that what we're to solve? This is Erica now. Uh, let go, face it, reassure, justify. for mental health she should probably face it it was all your fault oh no going on here? Someone throwing up, it's nice. Oh, she got a masquerade mask on. Seems to be living in some sort of apartment. Secure or unlock? She's coughing, she's got corona, so this could be a big no no. Um, but then again, she may need help. Ugh. Do 
Do you need any help? Drunk? So her mother's dead, I assume. Now her father's been murdered, I also assume. Brutally murdered as well. Some sort of sign on his chest. Oh wow, is this her drawings? Slightly disturbing. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. There seems to be a dad with someone else. A box or a record player. And the killer, maybe. An eye. Mother is a nurse. sign that was carved into his chest. Oh. So I take it she's parentless now. Do we really want to look in here? I don't know. Is it a severed head, maybe? Ugh. What the fuck? What is it? Oh my god, a severed hand! With symbol. The same symbol. Miss Mason? What's going Sergeant on here? Blake. The lead investigator on this case. Can I see that? Uh, no, it's a bit twisted. Probably Best if you done. don't. Hand over, rip out. Uh, rip out the sign. It may. I don't know, it may help the proceedings, I don't know. Why would we why would you hide it? Hand over. Yeah, well. You draw this a lot. It's Greek, isn't it? In Delphic Epsilon. I don't know. Same as with your father. Silence is always an option. If Erica doesn't respond in time to the conversation, we'll move on. Okay. It's Greek, isn't it? In Delphic Epsilon. I don't know, so Same I can't question it. So cooperate, I suppose. It was on the medallion, too. The hand belonged to a Cal Jahar. Who? You worked at Delphi House? I believe you visited there with your father. History. Links to case. Relevance. This is about my father. Your father's case was never solved. No. I'm pretty sure there's a connection. Did you know he co-founded Delphi House with... This man, Lucian Flowers. 
We think Mr. Flowers might be a target too. Hmm. Look, we're keeping watch over at Delphi House. Protection detail. I'll be leading the investigation from there. Right now, it's the safest place for you too. I mean, he seems okay as a detective, I suppose. He seems to want to help, so go with it. Father's taken her there to this Epsilon House place. He found it with someone else. Come on, thank all day. They're probably out for a smoke. Wait here, I'll go check. Sack them, not doing their job. So, two founders. Staff, maybe. There's nothing really. It stands out. Oh, here we go. What the fuck was that? So she's basically saying her father was not who he was, who he seemed to be. But I don't even know what this place is yet. Is it an asylum? Is it a hospital? Or?
I was going to ring the bell again. <laughs> no, just ring the bell. So, there's a few things here. Let's see what's in here first. I don't know. Typewriter. of K. Steinbeck, Delphi House. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. I haven't finished reading it. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, it's a great sadness that we ex um, extend the condolences to you and the family. Tiara was stuck. Was... Was? Was suck. Such... A delightful girl. Even at the end, she faced her challenges head on, and despite her circumstances, which were never less, which were never less and difficult, she remained true to herself until the last. Please find the long with this a letter of her possessions. No, that was it. Standing. One ashtray, clay, one box jewellery, posters, wall hangings, crazy pictures. Uh, a patient, maybe. So this woman on the phone was trying to say that her father did something to this patient or woman that was there. Thank you. 
Where did her father go? But he's dead, isn't he? Uh, patient files. Does anything look familiar? That's what was on the lighter, I think. The name on the lighter. Record of termination. Mason Allady Erica. Her mother, senior staff at Proof Dauphine House. Uh, so she worked there. Committed to inpatient case by DFF senior residents uh, physician Peter Major spouse Peter Mason spouse I just ran anywhere then, I didn't even know where I was going. Erica, what are you doing? I told you to wait. Oh. Um. That was a phone call. It was a woman. She knew who I was. She said. She said. Inside. Now. We need to find out where that call came from. Do whatever it takes. What are you doing? Get over the phone. There you go. Yeah, go on. The sign. And you? I have a right to see your identification. This is a private facility here. You can't just walk in. I don't have ID. Everyone has ID. Look, I'll call you. Shut up, I don't. I'm Sergeant Blake. I called this afternoon. I'm supposed to meet a Dr. Ballard. I can only apologize. We're all a bit nervous here. Sergeant Blake, I'm Rosa Ballard. I suppose you already know the Chief Inspector. Doctor, thank you. Would you mind taking Erica up to her room? I'm afraid I need to speak to the Chief Inspector. There's been a development. My room? Why have I got a room here? I'm not a patient. I suppose you don't remember me. I worked with your father. I used to look after you when you were little. You knew my parents? Of course. Your dad taught me everything I know. And your mum, she was incredible. Brilliant nurse, so smart. It's funny. Don't trust these, something not right. Anyway, this is you. You might recognize it. Mr. Steinbeck, the night manager, will be downstairs if you need anything. Oh, the creepy guy with the symbol on his arm, yes. Great.
Go on then. Look inside. It's the record player. Which she sketched in a book, I believe, yeah? Such an REM. So this was Erica's room when she was younger, or maybe when she was, <laughs> they couldn't afford childcare, or what, <laughs> took her to work. Don't come to bed, Uncle Lucy got you something, it should keep you out of trouble. What's that? You got me that as a gift. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Look at her arm. No wonder she's fucked up. She's just like you. Parents. Weird. So he's brutally murdered with the symbol carved into his chest at home. That's a woman. <laughs> Still no face. That looked like a woman's walk in shape though. So we're still in the room. So let's look at the facts. The father was brutally murdered with a symbol put on his chest at home. The mother worked in the same place. Why has she got bruises? that there's a freaky guy behind the counter who uh, had the same symbol on his arm no 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 not the carpet it's phone clean. call from a woman um I don't know well let Cut 
Kirsty? Kirsty, I said you can help, but I need to be with you, okay? We talked about this. No cleaning without supervision. God, she's a patient. This is a mental home, isn't it? Ugh, great. Her mother was staff member. We need answers. talk about it. Come on, Toby. I'm trying to play. Leave the girl alone. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, Deathwish. Over here. Don't mind her. She's got emotional problems. Hurry up and die, Hannah. I'm doing my best. What are you playing? This. Aria Fidelphi by, um... Some guy. I don't know. I've never heard of him. Here. Take a seat. Let me show you something. Do you see this bit? It's simple. Four notes. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. I've got to play it. <laughs> I'll do the rest. She likes to be the center of attention. She's all wide-eyed innocence until she doesn't get her own way, and then it's. <laughs> That's one hell of a nosebleed, though. Erica, Sergeant Blake's here. Needed in the main office. Come in. Ah, oh, her father's partner. Erica Mason. In the business. You look just like your mother. Last time we met, you could barely see over the desk. I'm Lucien Flowers. I set this place up with your father. Please. I recognize you from your portrait in the hall. Oh dear, it's quite a statement. If it wasn't for your father, I'd have it replaced. Did you sleep okay? I know the old place can take a bit of getting used to. Um, I'm at a desk, nightmares, phone call. I suppose it's a bit overwhelming. I know it's very difficult for you to be here, and... It didn't give me time to choose. It's not much, <clears> but <throat> I brought you something. Yeah, 
If it's that symbol, I'm going to throw it in your, your face. Your mother gave it to him on their wedding it's day. It's a lighter. Alady, that's her mid that was her middle name. I just kept a hold of it. Hey. Sorry about that. We're chasing the phone company, but there's still no news on last night's call. Erica, it's extremely likely whoever killed your father killed Mr. Johar. There may be some other victims as well we don't know about. It's likely they'll try and kill again. Is there anything I can do to help? Honestly, we don't have much to go on. But Mr. Flowers has a suggestion. It might help you remember the face of your father's killer. I don't trust anyone in this place. I get flashes. Um, nightmares. Uh, a silhouette, a woman with a gun, but that's it. It's like therapy. It was developed by your father, and it might be able to help you with your nightmares. Uh, no thanks. I've seen the people in this hospital. It's completely painless. Perfectly safe. I can't tell. I'm sorry. Erica, please. There are too many similarities with your father's case for it to be a coincidence. They probably lobot lobotomized me or something. If we can get a description, we can put an end to this. Um... Okay. I suppose. Uh. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. The images you're going to see are designed to relax you and open up your mind. Your father designed regression therapy to help our patients face their trauma. The first one is just a test. When you see it, just say whatever comes into your head. Sky. Okay, great. If you remember anything, Sky, more, yes. just write it down. <clears throat> I know revisiting trauma can be difficult, but you're perfectly safe. Come on, let's, let's have some begin. more. Flowers. Um. Beauty. Danger. Cut. Kill. Seems like a cult, doesn't it? It's you, Erica. It's you. It's always been you. It's always been me. Okay. No, no, no. Easy, easy now. What the 
How did you do to me? It's okay. You were drawing. No, you were drawing the whole time. They're saying the visions are saying she was the one with the gun. Her mother. Her mother killed her father. Why did you draw her, Erica? <clears throat> Why did you draw your mother? Your mother told me this place was her whole life. She worked here, fell in love here, had you here. Later, she died here. Dr. Ballard suggested that I show you this. Putting yourself through that was incredibly brave. It's not surprising that you saw your mother. Death certificate. Doesn't say why she, how she died, though, does it? It's, it's a process, it. Erica. It takes time. You can't blame yourself. I want to try again. You need to rest. Clear your mind. You can try again another time. Come on. There's something I want to show you. We'll need these. Anything else on that? Your father had the oleander planted in your mother's memory. They were her favorite. They've always brought us luck. Get off me! Leave me alone! Get off me! Sorry. Sometimes the girls have difficult days. But some of us like to keep it buried deep down inside. Anna, I didn't think you'd be up. This is Erica Mason. She'll be staying with us for a while. I saved her from Toby by heroically bleeding all over the piano. I'm taking these to Doc Ballard. We're making perfume. Do you want to come? Uh, Fuck off! What is wrong with you? Or well, you could always go hang out with Toby. <laughs> Actually, they're about to serve lunch. It's quite a spread. Why don't you go and grab yourself a bite and maybe meet some of the other girls? Sure. Who doesn't love a good old soggy sandwich in the company of strangers? I'm curious. Maybe I should check on Toby. No worries. 
I guess I'll catch you around. Erica, it's very good of you to go to her. Just remember that some of the girls here, they can be quite manipulative. They could also have answers. That's all. What are you doing? Why are you following me? Let me go. Don't stand for that shit. Forest. You've got no idea. This place has secrets. Yes. You need to I'm be trying careful. to answer them. You're going to get hurt. What do you mean this place has secrets? Oh, I see. You're looking for adventure. Is that it? Fine. Come with me. Always in the attic. There's always something in the attic. Cozy, huh? Yeah. A little something I prepared earlier. I'm fine, thanks. If you were fine, you'd be out in the real world. Buying groceries and fucking the boy next door. I need answers, I don't want to get shit faced. Jesus. It'll put hairs on your chest. I brought you here. I trusted you. If you don't trust me, you should go. Uh, I do need answers. Maybe she has got something. I trust you. <coughs> Is it true? Is someone sent you that guy's hand in a box? You're only here because you're hiding out. Yes. Wasn't your dad some sort of genius doctor? Did he really set this place up with Lucian Flowers? Yes. What about your mum? I heard she died here. Yeah, I guess so. Mm, she did die here. How? We don't know. Open it. Masks, uh, an altar. Where did you see it? It wasn't me. The girl who drew it, she died. She used to have these weird dreams. Some sort of cult, maybe? Pink flowers falling from the sky. She got nosebleeds. And then fits. And then she drew that. Nice place. Yeah, I can. Hmm. I didn't listen. Everybody thought she was crazy. After she died, I... I found that. Go on. Right, ladies and gents, I think we'll leave it there. <laughs> um, 
until the next one. So um, I'll leave you in anticipation.